To uninstall an iService Center, first mount the hard drive, then go into Program Files, Native Instruments, and locate an iService Center folder and delete it. To install previous versions of NI Service Center, first log into Native Instruments website and go to My Account. In My Account, look for Updates and Drivers and click on it. In here, you'll look for Drivers and Other Files. Under Important Tools and Patches, Click Service Center. This will take you to a page that has a previous version of an iService Center that you can download for Mac or Windows. We're going to download an iService Center 2.5.4 for Windows 7, Windows 8. Once your file has been downloaded, locate it and then mount your receptor's hard drive using receptor remote control. Open the Drop and Stars Here folder, and then copy-paste or drag and drop the servicecenter.exe into it. Next, use Receptor Remote Control to view your receptor. Then, click Setup in the top left, and then Software Manager. In the Plugins tab, click Install Plugin. You should see the servicecenter.exe, but make sure to click Run as Windows 7 first. Once you have clicked install, the process should begin. You'll see the installer come up as you would on a normal computer. Go through the steps by clicking next and accepting the terms of the contract if you feel like reading it. And once you've done that, NI Service Center will begin to install. You can leave all the settings to default and it should install properly. If you are installing an iService Center because of a new update that broke it, make sure that your network settings are in crossover mode. This will keep it from going online and updating back to that version. You can open an iService Center by placing an instance of Reactor onto your rack. If you are not in crossover mode, make sure to cancel any checking for updates. That way you can keep it in offline mode. This will make sure that NI Service Center does not update. <laughs>